trained as a welder, so I'm certified in every kind of welding. And one of the most important things uh, my instructor there told me was uh, always get comfortable, get relaxed. So a lot of times people see me and I'll be just sort of sitting here like this. Well, that's about as relaxed as I get before falling asleep. So sitting up straight, painting like that, six, seven, eight hours is too much. So I try and just, just get relaxed, find some yeah. places to relax. Relax, enjoy the time. As you get older, you get more shaky. And so you learn how to support yourself. My mom was real shaky. She had spinal problems. But I learned over the years, just get comfortable. Now I got two more fish in here. Yellow is a color that takes quite a few layers. Before, it, if it's on top of white, it's easier. So sometimes I'll paint this white and then paint yellow. But yellow on top of black or blue just looks like that. So it takes five, six layers. So the way around that is just paint it white. Lighting screening thing is that is that because you using spectro? I, I thought you using different uh, paint oil, different oil painting material. But it looks like you're still using regular material. When the lights dim, oils, on everything, just the regular paints you buy, no special paints. But the light can. Uh, it's it's how light and how dark. You can do it with a camera. If you get like a, a situation at nighttime where there's some lights on a flower or in a room or something, and it's just perfect. If you photograph that. It's going to do the same thing because there's enough dark and middle value and light value. Whereas out here in the daytime, everything is sort of neutral. So it'll work. Even this will work as you turn the dim lights down. But once I have darks to middle values to light, it, the light as the light goes, goes down, there's not very much light. So what shows up the best is the lightest colors. And when there's not very much light, the ones you start losing are the, the dimmer, darker Shades. When I first look at your painting here, I thought you must be using some kind of shiny material to make the volcano okay. come out, to make the flower no. show. No, that's really, really good. But see, it happens even in the prints. Yeah. That's a good way to explain it because even when I print it, it's just printing inks and they do the same thing under light. So. The big pieces on the wall, that one's an original, but the, the Giclés would do the same thing as you change the lights. And so they just use a contrast dark and light? Yeah, and just the contrast. Oh, wow. So now as I've got some whites back here, then my next la layer of yellows will show up better. So the, so the white is a cover the dark white one? Yeah, right there. to cover this darker color. Fish are white, fish be yellow, white, naked. You know, sometimes I'll try and make it right and perfect, but typically I don't. Because if you really take your time on every little area and make it perfect, it's wonderful. But when you step back a few feet, the painterly look just so your eye makes it blend together. So you can go from real soft realism to impressionism and still it's very pleasing. You don't have to be perfect all the time. So 
So that white will take a while to, to actually dry, okay. right? it will, it, where it will have an effect. So if I wanted to start another little turtle back here, right in here, I would just paint it a, a darker color, like about like maybe this. And then put strokes of color on top of it to give it some light and eventually take a small brush and uh, start doing the detail. I haven't finished this one yet. So when I do the, the printing, the chemistry clays, uh, I will sometimes come back and enhance them with acrylic, same paint, and I'll just hit the lighter areas and it makes it pop. Uh -huh. So that's a, another nice thing about painting, it's like recording music, you can sell your records, your albums, and with, uh, the original gets sold, but then you do another original. But the scanning and printing of it, with the addition of embellishing or enhancing it, it um, it makes it so the artist can have an income for a long time, forever. You know, all I did was highlight things, which I don't do that very often, but I did last night. I highlighted one and sold it. Uh, that's all I do is highlight it, like when I'm 90 years old, it still sell. You know, all I'd be doing is putting a few dots of color, maybe 50 dots of color. But that I think it make the picture come out. Yeah, it makes the picture come out, yeah. You want to grab me a piece and I'll, I'll show them how that works? Sure. And if you Tape it to a cardboard, and then when I do it, okay, sounds last good. Last night I tried to demonstrate it, and I had it on my lap. I'm gonna have him highlight this piece here. Come back and see it on the next video.